Hi guys, so if you follow on from my previous video where I created a Google uh, Workspace account with my business domain to um, you'd want to, after that you'd need to verify your domain um, with your internet service provider so I'm just going to show you how to do that um, so at the bottom here in domains it'll say verify your primary domain to begin using Google Workspaces. From there we can just click on verify domain and then it will take us to the the guide on how to do that. Um, it will tell us what our first step is and protect your domain. Click on protect. Just make sure that no one else is able to sign up for Google. This is how you can protect your domain so that nobody else can use it. Um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to need to add this record that Google gives us into our DNS editor with our service provider. So I'm going to click on I'm ready to protect my domain. From there it's going to tell me to do step one which is to already uh, figure out that Afrihost is my service provider. So it's going to ask me to click up there and then to add we go into my um, DNS editor. So I've already done that but I'm just going to show you. So if I logged in over here, I go to hosting, I can click on hotel getaways and then from here I'm going to go to hosting settings and click on DNS editor. It will, it will likely be a bit different um, depending on which editor you are using, if it's GoDaddy or something else for example but you do just need to to get to that DNS editor um, from here it's going to say you can click on the next step and this is where it's going to ask us to copy the below the verification code and we're going to need to create a txt record and paste your verification code in the field name or destination uh, if you register on a planet, you can enter any value. Okay, so I'll come back here and click below to check. Okay, so we're just going to click on that and say text copied. We go back here and we're going to say create a new record. It's going to be a TXT record. And then the content, I'm just going to paste. And I'm going to create, um, I forgot, let me just check quickly what the TTL record is supposed to be. 7200. It says you can enter any value. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and enter 7200, the same as the rest. Let's go back. Select text, content, and control V, and then TTL 7200, and click on create. Great, so now it's successfully added that record. It does say that it could take up to 10 minutes for that record to take effect. I'm just going to click on OK, and we're going to go back, and it should take a couple of minutes. Uh, before you actually go ahead and protect, but let's just have a look if it did update already. And that's just going to go ahead and check if it was successful in verifying our domain and excellent as, it, as you can see it says great job the domain is protected and that's all we needed to do thank you for watching uh, if you find this helpful please consider liking and subscribing to the channel cheers bye